In today's model, we're looking at a fiber that's embedded in an epoxy or a matrix and applying a temperature change so as we can see the residual stresses that are left behind afterwards just as a result of the temperature change. We'll start off first by drawing our geometry. It doesn't really matter what we call it. I'm just going to make a rectangle or square or whatever you'd like and um, I'm going to partition this face just to create the fiber geometry okay and now I'm going to sweep that partition through the object So sweep along the edge and make sure it's pointed in the right direction. And okay, so that's swept through. So now I'm just going to create the material. So the first material, I'm just going to call that fiber. Mechanical elastic with the material properties here. So 28, okay. The Young's modulus is 28, Poisson's ratio is 0 0.33, and then we have to apply expansion coefficients to allow for the thermal stress to have some kind of input. So expansion, the expansion coefficient I'm going to use is minus 0 0.1 e to the minus 6. And we'll just accept that now. So I've created the fiber. The next thing I want to do is create the matrix. Mechanical elastic. Young's modulus is going to be around 3.6. Sorry, that should be megapascal. So e to the 9. Sorry, gigapascal. And Poisson's ratio of 0 0.34 and now an expansion coefficient for this material will be 54 e to the minus 6 okay now I forgot the gigapascal part for the fiber so we'll just go in there and add that Okay, so now both materials have expansion coefficients applied. Just go and create the sections. Section 1 will be fiber section. Material will be fiber. Okay, and then matrix section. And that material will be matrix. Okay. So now we have to apply that to the geometry. So under the part, it's going to go into section assignments. So select the regions to be assigned a section. So I'll start with this part and it will be applied the fiber section. And then this part will be applied the matrix section. Okay. Um, I'm going to assemble that instance now. Apply. And now I'm just going to apply my boundary conditions onto the surface here. Okay. Um, for the, just for the sake of simplicity, I'm just going to apply an in cast ray boundary condition on the surface and okay the next thing then is to create the thermal step so in the initial step that's there go into predefined fields and call this high temp and the category is other and it's a temperature 
So select the regions, so that's the whole model. And for this particular one, it'll just be a constant temperature through the thickness. Um, the temperature I'm going to use is 158. That's what this composite material, I think, was cured at. And now just to create the second step, I'm going to call this cool down. Just leave all the default settings. And now go into predefined fields for that. And when we go in here, we can see it propagated the high temp from the previous step. So we now just have to create a low temp step. Again, it's applied to the whole model. And the magnitude this time will be zero. So the important thing really is the temperature difference between the high temp and the low temp. And in this case, the difference will be 158 degrees. Okay, so those two are created. I now just have to mesh the model and then we can get ready to run the analysis. Mesh controls. Just going to apply wedge elements in here and see how it how it meshes. Just going to increase the density a bit. And we'll try that now. Okay, the mesh isn't particularly neat, but I'm not going to worry too much about it. I have a different video where I show how to partition this correctly and apply the wedge elements um, to create a neat mesh. We'll just go and run the job now. So create the job. And submit it. So the analysis has finished running go in and look at the results. Obviously there's quite a significant stress increase at the where the uh, encastry boundary condition was, but also if we look at the interface between the fiber and the matrix, the stress is in the magnitude of megapascal, so it's quite significant here. And that's simply just from the step change in heat applied from 158 degrees down to zero degrees 